because I feel like when you see the surgery pictures, it's not the same as seeing it in real life. That's why I wanted to show you guys just a recording of me like walking around and actually like in action rather than just. Hey guys, this is my seven month skinny BBL update. So first got my surgery in October 12th, 2023, and it's been a little bit over seven months. So the surgery that I got was a skinny BBL with the fat transfer. And I also had like ab etching and some skin tightening done. And it was like a laser treatment for the skin tightening. So it was a little bit more than a regular BBL. I got like the abs and the skin tightening because I had kids and my skin is just like a little bit loose on my stomach, but not loose enough to get like a tummy tuck or anything like that. So my surgery weight was about 137 and I am 5'7". So my BMI was about 20. And at the time I only gained about seven pounds because I was originally 130. So that's why my surgery results might not be as dramatic as other people. And this video was made specifically for people who wanted to see what it would look like when you get a skinny BBL, because I feel like there is not a lot of representation for skinny people who want to get BBLs because we just don't have a lot of fat. And it's a lot different than someone who is heavy and has more fat on their body like the results are not the same honestly i really wish i would have known what the results would be like because i had not seen anyone with my same bmi that got the surgery and i think that would have definitely helped me have like more realistic expectations when it came to getting the surgery because it was very expensive all in all i paid about seventeen thousand. i had to pay a four thousand dollar deposit and i did the rest with care credit so with care credit it is interest free as long as you pay within six months depending on the plan you get so i made sure to pay it all off so I didn't have to pay any interest but the problem with care credit is if you even miss like one day you're gonna have to pay the entire 30% interest rate which is like crazy so that's why I was like 100% not gonna miss this payment because it's such a high interest rate so even if I paid off like 11,000 and I only owed $1,000 or $500 I would have had to pay the entire interest for the initial like $12,000 so that's a lot of interest so if you guys are thinking about doing care credit just make sure you know like what you're getting yourself into and do a lot of research because I'm sure every Everyone's plan is going to be a little bit different. So I'm going to show you guys how I look now and the results are not going to be dramatic. I know a lot of people are like, oh, where's the BBL? Like I was just really, really skinny. I did not have a lot of fat on my body. So this is just the results that I got. I'm happy with how it turned out, but I definitely wish it was a little bit more dramatic. But what can I do? I don't have enough fat on my body. I feel like I really, really wish I knew this before I got into it. And the doctor did tell me that because I'm so skinny and I didn't have much to start with, I will not get like a really dramatic result as other girls. And and I was just like, Mm. But at the same time, I didn't have any reference pictures to see like what those results would actually look like because I feel like when you see the surgery pictures, it's not the same as seeing it in real life. That's why I wanted to like show you guys just a recording of me like walking around and actually like in action rather than just pictures taken at an angle. As you can see, this is how it looks in action. I still have a little bit of tummy fat. It's mostly gone. And then you can see there's like the ab etching, which is like the fake abs. This is a really bad voiceover. I'm sorry. But um, you can see that when I suck it in, it's a lot smaller, but when I like let it go, you can still see the fat. This is how it looks in gym clothes. One major tip I have if you are thinking about getting surgery is getting the mattress. The air mattress will save your life because you cannot sleep on your face for like three months. It is super uncomfortable. I would recommend getting one of those like air mattresses like this one and just alternate between sleeping on your face and sleeping on your back. This way you will be a little bit less uncomfortable. And the air mattress was definitely a lifesaver, especially in the beginning. So definitely, definitely recommend getting it. It is worth the investment. Another thing I would recommend is joining surgery groups, especially if you don't know anyone else who's gotten it done that you can just like ask for help because it is a tough surgery to recover from and i feel like you do need support like the first few months i was healing from surgery i was constantly asking people questions and interacting with people and i felt like it really helped me get through the surgery because a lot of people were going through the same thing or they've gone through the same thing and they could answer my questions more quickly than like a surgeon can because you can't just keep asking your surgeon like random questions sometimes you know they're not going to be available 24 7 to answer you but with these support groups you can ask people about their experience which is really, really nice. And if there's anything they would recommend and just like share your pictures and share things, which is really, really helpful. Another thing is that if you just got the surgery recently and you think it looks a little bit crazy and too high, don't worry because it's going to drop. When I first got it done, this was my two week. I thought it would look so scary. I was like, why is my hips so high? But eventually it dropped and now it looks super natural. It looks like too natural now. So if it looks like a little bit more dramatic in the beginning, like don't worry, it's going to go down and drop and look more natural. So right now, 
I'm at 124 pounds. So I have lost a little weight, which is why like I lost some volume as well. But a great thing about the surgery is that it helped me because I spent so much and I invested so much money into it. I was like, I need to start working out. So it helped me invest in myself and it helped me like change my mindset. Like I really need to invest in working out to maintain this body because with lipo and any surgery that like removes fat, it's not going to remove fat forever. So if you start eating a lot again, you're going to gain that weight back. You're going to get the fat back in your stomach. Even like two months ago, I was eating a lot during a trip and I gained the weight right back in my stomach and I could see it. My stomach was like bloated as hell and I wasn't eating like unhealthy foods. I was just eating a lot more calories than usual and not working out and eating at night. So definitely be really mindful if you're thinking about getting the surgery to lose weight, but you, you think you're not going to have to keep up with it. Like you do, you really do. You really need to work out even after you get the surgery. It's not just like a one-time solution that fixes your body for the rest of your life. Like you have to like work out and maintain it and eat healthy. So I've already like lost most of that weight, but I still have like a tiny little pouch on my stomach area. And I think that's just probably from like drinking like sweets or something. I don't know. Either ways, like I think it's really, really helpful to just continue working out after you get it or start working out after you get the BBL because you do need to exercise to maintain the results, especially if you tend to carry weight in your lower abdominal area, which 